So solving this with the steady state uh, hypothesis or assumption would go something like this. Uh, and it would be posed in this way. You don't know which one's the slow step. You don't know which one is the rate determining step. It's one thing that you'll notice in these kinds of problems. And so you can't make a uh, you can't just jump to uh, saying a particular rate. So one thing you'll need to do is say that, okay, I'm going to, because uh, you're wondering, well, which rate is answer rate one or rate two? What you'll do is say, well, where are the products actually made? And so in this case, the products of the overall reaction N2 and H2O are uh, fully produced right here. See how both products are here? So my answer, is going to be rate two. I'm going to be solving for rate two in this case because that's the one that produces the products. But you're not given that information in the question, which rate to solve for. So you're going to go for the one where you see the products, unless other information is given. Another is that the slow step's not labeled. So as far as you're concerned, there is no rate determining step. There is no slow step. So when you see those kind of characteristics, the slow step not labeled, Maybe we don't even tell you which rate to solve for. It's this other sort of category. This is going to be the most difficult uh, mathematically, as, just as far as algebra. But the concept's all the same. So what you're going to do is say, OK, we're solving for rate 2. Because that's the one that makes the products, N2O and H2. And you'd be done if <laughs> this wasn't an intermediate. So you have an intermediate in your answer. You can't be satisfied. So now we're going to use the pseudo steady state hypothesis, where rate of appearance equals rate of disappearance, or if you prefer, rate at which you see our intermediate in the reactants equals rate at which you see in the products. So for example, uh, our intermediate is N2O. Let's do appearance, or where it is in the products. So for which reaction is N2O in the products? Yeah, the first one, rate one, okay? Now, where does it disappear, or where is it in the reactants? Rate two and? The first reverse. Yeah, perfect. Rate one reverse. If you look at rate one reverse, it's being consumed, or it's disappearing, or it's in the reactants. So the first reaction going backwards is a disappearance, or it's in the reactants. OK, now uh, plug in. And this, you'll notice, is going to be a very common sort of equation that comes out of using this PSSA. OK, so rate one, that's, uh, what is that? K1, H2, and O squared <laughs> equals rate 2, which is K2, N2, O, uh, H2. Uh, and then rate 1 reverse is K1 reverse, uh, N2, O, and I kind of got to go uphill here, H times H2, O. Now let's take a look at this little or big equation we just wrote down. Notice here's, here and here are the intermediate at these two spots. I'm going to solve for this intermediate and do the same thing I've been doing, plug that expression into my answer, the rate 2. Okay? So let's solve for that intermediate. Um, what you're going to do is say, well, K1 times H2. I'm going to leave, at this point, the left-hand side here. So everything I'm going to do at this point on is just algebra. So if you got algebra down, you're set at this point. I'm going to factor out the N2O out of this right-hand side. If you do that, you'll get K2 times H2 plus K1 prime times H2O. Okay, so I just factored it out. Now I'm going to divide through. N2O equals, 
big one. K1 times H2 times NO squared over K2 uh, H2 plus K1 prime H2O. So you got a big monster expression here uh, using the, the PSSH uh, sort of method. And I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. Take this, and if you look at your page, I'm going to plug it into this. Okay? So it's going to be a big, ugly equation, but that's how it is sometimes. So let's plug it into rate 2. Uh, rate 2, hopefully I'll fit this in one line is now going to be K2 times K1 H2 squared, because now there's two of them, one from here, originally, and one here, times NO squared all over K2 H2 plus K1 prime times H2O. Now you take your uh, look at your expression again. You ask yourself, are there inter intermediates left in there? <coughs> in this case, no. So now this is my answer. You can see how it's uh, quite a bit more complicated. Now, oh yes, did I make a mistake? <coughs> Uh, which, why do you want to cancel this? You want to cancel this K2 and this K2. That uh, would work if there was a K2 here also. But since it's an addition, anything you, you could factor out and then cancel, but otherwise you can't just cancel stepwise like that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Question? Uh, there's another. Oh, yes, there you are. Um, so when you're doing the third case, you have to consider R2, and so what we do is we plug in the new um, N2O that we solve for, and then plug it into the original R2. That's right. So this is the new one that we have just solved for, this expression using PSSH. Here's my original equation that I plugged it into. So I put this mess right there. Is that okay? Same thing I did in solving the other one. Uh, this is just messier looking. Yes? When you use this, does that necessarily mean that there is no rate determining step or just that you don't know which one it is? Both. So, <laughs> uh, is, there, is there not necessarily a rate determining step? That could be true. Do you not know what it is? That could also be true. If there was a rate determining step, just hypothetically, and you weren't given that and you used this, this is the, uh, would it be incorrect, uh, you know, if there was a rate determining step, maybe you didn't know about it. No, this is the uh, assumption with the least problems. So, so this is more correct, more exhaustive, I should say. And I'm going to demonstrate exactly what you're going to say uh, as soon as I finish some of the other questions. Uh, if you use this and you knew one was a rate determining step, uh, you probably wouldn't be wrong still. But I would, if you knew rate two was a determining step, I'd probably do it the easier way just to avoid mistakes and things like that. But uh, actually it's going to give you this. This is the same answer, which I'll demonstrate in a second. Okay, maybe I'll demonstrate. It's been a second. Let me demonstrate right now. 